So what I've done already is now I've been able to successfully open up as layers three new drawings that I'm going to be able to stack up on top. And you can know, see I can, I've already got my uh, OD picture in here and by clicking on the eyeballs for the work you can see that I have legs, I have a hand and uh, this picture of Dinah or my wife that she uses a great model by the way. Okay, so I now have been able to successfully cut out and somewhat position um, the several layers on my screen. So I have uh, the top half of a body, a robotic arm, and some legs in the background. And by using my other tools, you know, such as scale, and uh, you know, I could drag a corner and I can make sure it's shrank down to where I kind of want it. I also really like this perspective tool because I can make some things kind of come out further and others make them kind of really kind of stretch and get that illusion that this is a war piece of art. In order to make this a really good effective composition, I really want to use my rule of thirds. Rule of thirds is just dividing my workspace uh, by three. So I can kind of move this point right here. And notice down the bottom it says move guide 426. It's kind of difficult to get it right in that spot. Okay. Alright, now on the side, we got 858. So I'm gonna get 858. We're gonna move this guide up and down. So it says 286. So here we have these are the most interesting points, so I'm going to start to move around, uh, stretch and warp my image layers to get everything into it where I want it to be. Alright, so I got everything where I want it to be right now in the composition. I've tried to really utilize at least this intersecting point and this intersecting point to get um, what I'm trying to get across on my scene. I could always stretch and warp some of these things down, but even right now I'm not even 100% happy with the perspective, but I'm gonna make do. Uh, another thing that I would like to do is try to put this hand in front of this character, and he has a hand behind here. I wanna um, kind of stretch out and move, kind of reposition things. Luckily I can do that by clicking on his layer and I can use uh, basically a rope tool and I can make a selection just right around that and then I can go edit and copy. And now I'm going to go edit and paste as a new layer. What I'm going to try and do is to move this over the end. Now my hand layer needs to be on top. So it's gonna go, I wanna try and move it up. So I've now been able to drag that around and I have my clipboard as my topmost layer, but I wanna be able to kind of stretch it. So let's see, maybe I can just pull it off with the perspective tool. That would just give it like a bigger hand. So maybe I can utilize that for one part. Um, but I guess the scaling thing is really what I need to do and for this case I'm going to unchain it because I just want to make it wider. Now the other problem is here that I have the old hand showing. So I can go back to the original layer and I can go to the eraser and I can kind of carefully go in and erase that stuff. Like I can even go over here recklessly. It doesn't matter because there's nothing behind her that we're going to have to see. Now this part where the old arm was over the torso, I can use this great tool that I love to use is the clone tool. And I can click by holding down control or shift. And whatever is painted up there, it can kind of carefully blend in for me. Alright, so let's see what we got. If I hold down control now, I can zoom out easily. So there we go, I would just have to export this as a JPEG and then put it in my site and wherever else I need to go. Thanks much for checking out the tutorial, hopefully you can utilize GIMP and DrawCast 
in your artwork as you start to make it for your needs.